Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make bath salt. Benefits include arthritis pain relief, relaxing your muscles so to avoid muscle pulls, especially at night, um, reducing swelling and increasing blood flow and circulation. So with this one, you can also use it as a form of detox when you are ill or after you have gone through any illness. You can either do a bath soak where you soak your whole body or you can go the route of just soaking your feet so what we will need we will need two cups of magnesium salt um it's the what i have here is magnesium chloride you can use magnesium sulfate as well you can use epsom salt also so what i did was blend the magnesium so that it is a little bit fine it comes in coarse if you buy the epsom salt it comes in fine so you don't have to blend it so that's my blended uh, magnesium um, chloride and then you will need one and a half cups of coarse sea salt i was using a little bit fine sea salt so i used one cup you can also use pink hamelian sea salt you can use dead sea salt and then you will need half cup baking soda you can also add some essential oils now i reserve my essential oils for when I'm going to actually use the bath salt. The reason why I do that is I have different essential oils that I use for, um, you know, depending on what I'm needing the soak for. If I'm having sore muscles, I prefer to use peppermint. If I'm having, I just want to be relaxed, I'll use lavender. I can use frankincense sometimes. So I don't put in the essential oils when I'm making the soak. I only put it inside when I am I'm going to put it in the bath. Also, why I didn't add essential oils here was because I'm making this for a friend. So this batch is a, a gift for someone. So yeah, here we are. We just mixing everything. I The ingredients I just mentioned together. I have my chief. I do it by myself. <laughs> um, assisting me. So you will see his hands trying to mix and help. So with the baking soda, there are two types. Any of the ones you get, if you get this one, it's okay. If you use the other one, it will also work. I prefer using the the, the food grade, but the other one is equally um, food grade. There's just a little difference between the processing, um, which I'll talk about in another video. So you, basically what I'm doing here is putting everything together. And once it's well blended, I'll just transfer it into my container. It's that easy. In case you're wondering what brand of essential oils I use, I use plant therapy. I've used Young Living in the past. I've also used um, Aiden's Garden. It's very important that you buy quality essential oil. Don't just go into a store and grab an essential oil. It can be really dangerous. Something that's supposed to help you, it can end up harming you. So take note of that. So now I'm transferring into my jar. Um, this jar actually is the one that we use at home that I am refilling. It's supposed to go into a container for my friend. So I'm going to put it in the right container. It's not supposed to be in here, but we are, we are done. You are done. So once you transfer it, you keep it in, um, a place where it's not prone to moisture, too much moisture and you ready to take it out and use whenever you're ready for a soak so when i use it i put a cup in my bath and when i'm doing a food soak i do quarter cup for the kids i do quarter cup in the bath and i don't let them stay in there for more than 20 minutes
one of the reasons I don't add essential oils is also because of the kids because there are some essential oils that are not supposed to be used on kids. And then you can add some herbs and flowers like rose petals. You can add lavender. They're all great. So that will be all. Thank you for watching.